and Leos, United Nations diplomats, ambassadors, and other dignitaries, distinguished guests, and delegates. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the President of the Republic of Kenya, his fifth Lions United Nations Day. Mr. President, at the onset, I wish to appreciate the role the Lions Club plays in the movement of challenges, especially during the height of COVID-19. Although we are not yet out of the woods, you are 48,000 clubs across the globe. More than 1.4 million made, made great impact to humanity as locked Clowns of certainty rocked the world. You saved many lives. This global kindness towards humanity is bold and it matters. Mr. President, we meet here today under the theme hunger nutrition and wellness when the globe the horn of africa and kenya in particular are reeling in the negative effects of climate change climate change has negative ramifications on kenya africa and the globe while Africa contributes to Africa, Africa led pollution less than three percent to climate change related pollution. It is via current and recent extreme weather and climatic conditions and recent including heat waves, wildfires, floods, hurricanes and several missed rain seasons have been experienced across across the globe with vulnerable countries suffering more the globe this across we are in a crisis no doubt the world is bleeding from the impacts of climate change kenya is bleeding from the impact of climate change Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to demonstrate the impact of climate change, Kenya has consecutively missed five rain seasons. We are deep into the longest drought in, the, in four decades. As a result, more than, more than five point million Our livelihoods worth 1.5 million US dollars have been lost in the last one year. Lost. One of our leading foreign exchange earners has also not been spared. The drought is threatening to drive the world's heritage, the wildlife to oblivion. Between November 2022 and 2023, we have lost 1,180. We have lost wild animals in drought. Key among them, 262 elephants. We are spending US dollars in three months for water and feeds feeds to sustain the wildlife population alone 
We hope to receive rains to reverse the dire situation during the December 2022 season. However, the rains were sparse to guarantee a positive impact. Prospects indicate that the country may enter the rain in the second week of March 2023. But going by past experience, it is not guaranteed mainly because of possible guaranteed feeds disruptions. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the situation is no better in Somalia. The situation is no better in Ethiopia. The situation is no better in Djibouti. The situation is no better in Sudan than it is in the South Sudan. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya and the Horn of Africa are in crisis, largely due to the impact of climate change despite our limited contributions to this phenomenon. Contribution Kenya one of the one of the key drivers of climate change is the rising levels of greenhouse and emissions with carbon dioxide being greenhouse one of the in Somalia one of the one of the leading causes of global warming as of 1992 global emissions stood at 27 gigatons annually with increased industrialization and other human activities, global emissions have hit a one ton 40 gigaton as per the latest records. One on the other the UN has reported that each new year is hotter than the previous. In spite of this rise, Kenya as an emerging economy contributes to this less less than 0.1% of the global greenhouse emissions annually. But we are suffering more. We are also implementing diverse measures of cutting down our emissions by 32% by the year 2030. For instance, Mruto targeting 15 billion trees by the year 2032. This will increase the national tree cover from 12.13 percent, from 12.13 percent to 30 percent in the next 10 years. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. However, Kenya and the rest of the Horn of Africa is sinking deep in, into more crisis even though our contributions to global warming is negligible as compared to the industries our contributions world world with the worsening situation in kenya and many parts of africa there is no response despite various international commitments and frameworks against climate against climate change for instance, climate is climate. Increased global warming means we have fallen short of implementing the UN framework conventions on climate change of 1992. We have also neither adhered to the Kyoto Protocol of 1997 nor the Paris Agreement of 2015, just to mention but a few. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, well, Kenya is taking immediate and a few long-term measures in response to drought and farming. measures. We cannot manage the situation alone. We need children in school, Otherwise, they will be left behind. We need safe pregnancies and deliveries. But malnutrition among expectant and lactating mothers and children threaten 
through arrays gains already made in suppressing mortalities in these vulnerable groups. The ripple effect is that hungry people cannot escape poverty. They cannot be healthy. But hungry people they cannot go to school. They cannot be peaceful. In short, there is a direct in which we seek to leave no one behind. Excellencies led of the Sustainable Development Goals calls upon us to embrace partnership in development. This is only possible if we partner in implementing of climate action commitments and other frameworks. For instance, we need to prioritize implementation of the Sharm El Sheikh Egypt COP27 decisions. Publishing and operationalizing a fund. We also need to full we also need full commitment and implementation of the contribution of 100 billion US dollars towards climate change of one hectare in these mitigation measures. In this regard, development countries need to party agreement for the emerging economies like Kenya to implement their side of the bargain. Lower the average temperatures rise deeper than 1.5 degrees Celsius target in our climate action. As highlighted earlier, Kenya targets to plant 5 billion trees by 2027 and an additional 10 billion trees between 2027 and 2032 for countries which cannot necessarily reduce their greenhouse emissions. This can help us in strategizing better on adoption and integration of climate smart sustainable development and other resilience plans in line with the development agenda of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration over the next five years. On this note, I invite you and the Lions Clubs across the nation to join us in this call for planting trees. Each tree by a lion will be a great green bullet towards a sustainable tomorrow for all. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, no long-term plans, we cannot escape from the current reality. While we cannot escape, we appreciate the UN family and other national and international non-state actors for their support of the more than state actors, billion, 0.8 billion Kenya shillings. 7.36 billion for short term and mid term programs, which will be gradual term program, program and mid term point implemented until October 2023. In an effort to make food more affordable, we have also subsidized production by availing farm inputs at cheaper rates. But for sustainability, we call for more partnership and commitment to long-term solutions. Some of our other long-term investments include drilling of mobile holes, intensifying water harvesting through mega dams across the country. This, this will restore human dignity and put Kenya back on the trajectory of realization of Agenda 2030 of the UN alongside our own Vision 2030. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we see the, the 45th Lions Day, the world and humans are interconnected. If you might are human, this my burden, the threat of extinction, my burden must be your burden. We must start united or we perish. Thank you. Asante Nisana.